Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to AWS Today. I'm Aniket Thakur and in this video I'm going to show you how to access uh, other AWS services from your EC2 instance uh, and since EC2 is part of AWS itself it is very easy to access other AWS services using AWS command line interface. So if you remember we had spun up an EC2 instance with uh, Amazon Linux AMI which has pre-configured tools uh, already installed and AWS CLI is one of them so let's go ahead and connect to uh, this instance So now that we have logged in, uh, you can to AWS S3 LS to list all the uh, S3 buckets that are in your account. Now, if you see, uh, if you run this command, you should get something like this: unable to locate credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure. So AWS CLI is a generic command line utility which you can install it in your any of your uh, Linux-based operating systems, and you should be able to access your AWS services using that but to use that you need to configure credentials on your machine but since EC2 is part of your AWS infrastructure itself what you can do is you can use uh, IAM roles and credentials to access your uh, S3 uh, sorry AWS services uh, without needing to configure this credentials so to do that all you need to do is set up this IAM role right over here for this uh, EC2 instance to access uh, the services that you require. To do that, you need to go to IAM and create a role that basically enables your EC2 to access the services that you require. So go to roles and click on create role. So what we need is a new role for EC2 instance. So click on EC2 and select next permissions. So here uh, you will see set of permissions that you can provide to that role. Uh, Amazon provides certain out of the box uh, permissions for you to use or you can click on create policy to create more granular policies uh, if you have more stricter regulations. So for this video I'm gonna give S3 full access uh, for our uh, EC2 instance. We'll click on next review. Let's call it my web ser server 2 full s3 access and let's click on create role so now that your role is created let's go back to ec2 instance and add this role over here to do that you can click on action go to instance settings and attach replace im role now here you can select uh, your uh, I am role so this is the I am role that we just created so we'll go ahead and apply and let's close and go back to our EC2 instance so you can see right over here that our I am role is now uh, attached so earlier this used to take time and needed uh, EC2 instance reboot but uh, from the latest changes this is uh, instantaneous so if you go ahead and try the same command again uh, you can see that uh, the command works right away right now uh, uh, something to remember is that uh, you just have s3 access so you can only access s3 service using AWS CLI if you want to access other services and resources you can go back to your uh, role and attach more policies to provide you access to that services so essentially you do not need to configure credentials and uh, configure it in your machine since EC2 is part of your AWS infrastructure you can just configure AWS uh, IAM roles and you should have access to other services as well so uh, that's pretty much it uh, in the next video we'll see how we can leverage this to uh, host our website from EC2 uh, how we can configure roles and then dynamically access S3 to download our uh, website files and use a script to directly uh, configure our EC2 instances as and when we launch it to uh, host our website. Thank you.